Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today we're going to be doing a video in Substance Painter and we're going to be talking about anchor points. And trust me, you don't want to miss this one. Okay, here we go. Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Well, today is going to be a special one. We're going to be talking about anchor points in Substance Painter 2018. Now, I see very few videos on this uh, topic, and it's extremely powerful. So if you ever work in Substance Painter, you do not want to miss this one, right? Okay, before we jump in, uh, one question from me to you. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, would you please hit that subscribe button? That would mean the world to me, right? Okay. That said, so we're in Maya. I have two very simple objects. I have a simple cube and I have a slightly higher a poly cube, okay? Now, uh, this is by default UV, of course, and what I did is I exported this as a low poly OBJ cube and this as a high poly OBJ cube, okay? Let's jump into Substance Painter. Okay, guys, well, we're in uh, Substance Painter 2018.2.3 uh, to be exact, and I'm gonna go up to File and New, there we go. I'm going to leave this setting at PBR Metal Rough as my default template, and I'm going to go in and select my low poly. Okay, this is this guy right here, as saved before. Leave everything else alone here. I'm just going to click OK. That's going to bring it in, and this is about my previous project, so don't worry about that. Discard, there we go. And now we have this cube in here, easy peasy, okay? Now, next thing we need to do is bake our default maps. So we have a normal map and an ambient occlusion and a curvature map and so forth, okay? So for that, in the 2018 version, I'm gonna go to texture set settings. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna look for bake mesh maps. Click on that. Leave all of these selected. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't need all of them, but I'm gonna leave them selected anyway. Uh, we can leave everything else alone and I'm just gonna make sure that it's all good. And then I'm going to go in here and click on the Bake Mesh Maps. We'll give it a second. Now this will create some error message because of the vertex colors and whatnot, but don't worry about that. If you uh, want to get rid of that, we're just going to go in here to a Window and Reset UI and you're all good. And what we need to do next is we need to apply a texture to our cube. But before we do that, let me explain to you what we're doing here because otherwise you might not want to follow along, okay? Now, the thing is this, if you uh, apply a texture to an object, let's say the simple cube, let's do metal, for example, okay? And then you apply a generator to that metal uh, with a, uh, like a template, like a generator that creates edgeware, okay? What you'll see is you'll see edgeware everywhere where the curvature map has calculated that there are edges. However, if you later go on and you use stamps uh, like, uh, you know, the hard surface stamps to uh, create a hinge or whatnot, that wear will not be available on that stamp. And with anchor points, that is what you can make that happen. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's continue. We're in the layer stack here. We're going to go in and Let's find something that's easy to recognize. We've got aluminum here. I'm just going to drag that in and drop that on. And there you go. We've got our default aluminum. We don't need this empty layer, so let's get rid of that. And then we're going to take something that is, uh, can easily be recognized so we can use it for edgeware. So let's find maybe something called steel painted. Okay. Now we're going to bring that in. And I'm going to bring that to the top of the stack. And of course, you now have steel painted over the aluminum. Now, what I want is to mask that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down. So the aluminum is on top, and you can see that everywhere. And then I'm going to go into the aluminum, and I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to go to add a black mask. Now, as I do that, it covers the aluminum completely, so you only see the steel painted. And what I now want to do is apply that generator that will create that edgeware that I was talking about. Okay. So we're going to make sure we have that selected. We're going to right click. We're going to go down to add a generator. Now, as we do that, we get the option to select one. I'm going to select it right here. And I'm going to go with this one right here called uh, metal edgeware. Now, as I click on that, you see that we have perfect metal edgeware going on. Now, this explains a little bit better what I was talking about. So if we use a hard surface stamp or stencil and put something in here, you wouldn't see any edgeware on it because it's not part of the geometry. And that's where the anchor points come in, okay? So this uh, looks all good so far. What we need to do next is we need to apply one of those stamps. So I'm gonna go in here and create a new layer. 
just add a new layer. It doesn't have to be a fill layer, just a layer. We're going to go in and select a brush. And we're going to find something that is uh, just a hard brush, like so. And then we're going to go into the hard surfaces and we're going to find something that we want to use. And as we scrub down in this layer, we're going to turn off whatever we don't need. We don't need the color, we don't need the height, we don't need the roughness, we don't need the metalness, we just want the normal, okay? So I'm going to scrub down. Here's my normal and I'm going to take, uh, let's see what we'll do here. We'll take uh, this handle thingy and I'm going to left click and drag and drop that onto that normal space as such, okay? So now if I go in here and I'll make my brush bigger, scrub back up, push the brush over like so, and I'll swivel this around, I'll hold shift to snap it, there you go, and I can go in here and I'll make it even bigger than that, there you go, and boom, okay? So now we just have the normal information, and exactly as I stated, there's no edge work going on there at all, right? Okay, so how do we fix that? Well, that's what the anchor points are for. Now, first of all, the layer that creates uh, the stamp here, I'm going to rename that. I'm just going to go in here and I'll call it, um, I don't know what it is, handle. All right, okay. So that's a handle, and what I need to do now is I need to add an anchor point to the handle, and then I need to go to the metal edgeware and reference to that anchor point. That's how that works, okay? So I'm going to right click on this guy and I'm going to go all the way down to add anchor point. Now the thing is, if I go into this metal edgeware layer here and I want a reference to something, it has to be below this uh, generator. So what I need to do is I need to take this handle and push it below. And you can do it all the way down or just below uh, the one you're working on. You can do it all the way down to the bottom of the stack if you want. But just make sure it's lower. So it's in here, we have our anchor point. We're gonna go into the metal edge wire. That's where we need to do that reference, right? And we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna look for micro detail right here. All right, so under micro detail, you have a micro height and a micro normal, and they're both turned off as you can see. Now, we're doing this with a normal map, as you can see here. You could also do this with a height map. Now, because we're using a normal map, we're gonna turn the normal map on, like so. Yeah, there you go, it's on. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna look at the uh, micro normal. Now that is where we need to reference to that anchor point, okay? So we're gonna click on it. And up here you have resources and anchor points. I'm gonna go into anchor point and here is my handle anchor point that we created. So let's click on that. All right. And now what we need to do is under micro normal, we need to look at what channel we're referencing to. So we're gonna keep the alpha, but here it says reference channel is a base color. We didn't do this on color, we did this on normal. So let's click on normal, and there you go. There's your uh, edge wear. Now this is of course a lot, right? So you have levels down here, and you can basically play with that. You can bring that way up or way down. Uh, let me just move this out of the way a little bit so you can see it better. So here you have settings you can play with to uh, bump that level up or down, right? And you can play with that to your heart's content, okay? So that's all there's to it, guys. Uh, of course, this is kind of a crude uh, example, but uh, at least you know the gist of it, as uh, always with my tutorials, okay? So this is what anchor points are for. And uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you enjoyed this one, uh, please hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell thingy, and you'll make sure you don't miss uh, future videos, okay? That's all there's to it for today, and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.